Odessa on the frontier of the ex-Soviet Union is the new tourist magnet for Americans. But what brings them here? The pioneer spirit is strong with these Americans, who are taking advantage of Odessa's reputation as home of the world's most beautiful women. Lenin's dreams have crumbled. Economic prospects are poor. Alcoholism is widespread. And women outnumber men almost five to four. So one area of the economy which is doing well is the marriage business. Men are in such short supply that girls, some as young as 18, sign up in their hundreds to join one of the numerous marriage agencies. Glitzy websites show a seemingly endless procession of beautiful, single women. One of these is Julia, 27, whose situation is typical of many of the girls in the catalogues. Раньше он, когда ухаживал за мной до свадьбы, он открывал дверь в машину, а когда мы уже жили вместе, он меня выталкивал из машины. И начались ревности совершенно безосновательно, закрывал меня в квартире. А мне надо было учиться ехать на пятый курс. И я собрала вещи, говорю, я еду учиться, он, я никуда не пущу тебя. И сильно сбил меня. Это, это был последний день, когда я с ним жила. Ситуация такая, что молодежь меня толкает спину. Есть здоровая конкуренция в Николаеве. Подрастают девушки. И девушки, которые не могут здесь реализовать себя. То есть у них нет также парней, нет мужей, нет за кого замуж. Они тоже ищут себе мужей на сошеле. А... И они более игривей, более смелее, скажем так. Вот у них уже больше шансов появляется. И многие без детей, вот, многие без детей. Я никогда не думала, что у меня будет такая проблема выйти замуж с ребенком. Никогда не думала. Это действительно проблема. Julia's town, Nikolaev, is known locally as the city of brides. The local men should be laughing. But 24-year-old man about town, Jura, is not happy. Я еще не нашел довольно киту, которая мне подходит. Дело в том, что в наше время на данный момент найти девушку, которая довольно ки, ну сказать, что идеально тебе подойдет, очень тяжело. Это вопрос времени. Почему? Потому что сейчас, ну, довольно ки очень, ну, как говорится, не не такие девушки, как были раньше. Вот. Они хотят все и в то же время взамен не дают ничего. Я считаю, это несправедливо. As well as internet dating, the agencies also organize romance tours for real-life meetings. These men have paid upwards of three and a half thousand dollars to come on this tour. The agencies are sensitive to the accusation that the tours are no more than legalized pimping. With difficulty. We managed to persuade one marriage agency to let us ride along. The hunt for a mate begins in the hospitality suite. The formula is simple. Men choose likely wives from catalogues, and then Russian-speaking tour reps arrange dates for them. Hopes are high. Iraqi war veteran Art is picking up some dating tips. Send them an email. Mm -hmm. They'll get it today. Uh -huh. And then they can decide after reading their profile whether they want to meet you or not. Uh, you're talking about the ones you're corresponding with? Yeah, well, yeah, or ones you haven't, like these. This one, I saw her last year. Mm -hmm. uh, she had a date with a different guy every day. So I only got to see her one time. Yeah. But she, she was like, they took her out of the book last year. She's really not. She's a nurse. 
You take her back to the States and she can, and she can have a job like that. She can make 100000 as a nurse back in the States. Uh, well, I, I have a friend that does it. She, she makes $1,500 a week. What are you doing right now? Doing right now? I'm looking for a couple girls I'm supposed to get a hold of. Getting their IDs. They show up and they're prettier in person than they are in the movie. They're on, the, on these. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of beautiful women in the They're all very young. You don't think that you can get a, a really young girl? You know, I could for a while say 24 year old, then I get to remember I'm 52. So when I'm 72 on Viagra, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. It's, it'd be great for a couple of years, what a fun heaven. But it'd be more like just having a trophy, and that'd be wrong. And also it'd be wrong for the lady, too. You know, to be married to someone that old, and when they get older, she's in her 40s, and I'm in my 70s. That's so why I'm looking at, you know, 35, 44. So More realistic. With children and without, yeah. doesn't matter. At 65, Arthur has no such concerns about his age. A veteran of six romance tours, Arthur knows what he's looking for in prospective wives. It's like purchasing a very nice uh, used Cadillac or used... Jaguar. Uh, it, it's it's used, so uh, I tell them, uh, you know, I need to drive it before I make a decision about uh, taking it home, putting it in my garage. If she was virgin, it would be different. But you know, I think they. Uh, I don't think they make them anymore. So anyway, uh, so I, you know, I need a test drive, and of course that. As I tell them, you know, they need to test drive me. I'm an old man. I might not can do the job for them. The tour also includes social events. This one involves a short trip from the hotel to spend an afternoon in a local nightclub gathering dates. Large numbers of women await their attentions, attracted by the chance to win a husband. And, as an added incentive, there's a cash prize in a special free raffle if they stay to the end. It's really nice, a lot of nice looking ladies, and just have to find the right one to talk to at the moment. The Search and Destroy mission for today is um, circulate in the social, meet new ladies, um, and then go out on date after the social is over with. The next two days are pretty much well defined. Uh, they've already helped me out when I first got here, uh, Anastasia Webb, so they've already helped me out, so now I just need to execute the plan. And then if the plans go well, then that's one thing. But if they don't, then I can re-rally around the troops and go to plan B. Вот, у меня вот пятилетняя дочь. Но она растет сама, без отца. Вот, и я ищу прежде всего хорошего отца для нее и хорошего мужа для себя. Я пришла к выводу, что намного лучше быть мужчиной, который старше. Во-первых, чувствуется опыт, интеллект, совсем другие интересы и больше семейности, больше семейности, больше разговоров о семье, об доме, о уюте. Вот как-то здесь этого не хватает. Julia Roberts. <laughs> Julia Roberts. <laughs> Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Is she nice? I don't know. Nice? I never had her. Julia Roberts. I know who she is. Very good. Papa? No? She's a good actress. Yeah? She's a very good actress. Mama? I've seen very many beautiful ladies here, but I think this lady is the most beautiful I've met yet. Well, I know it is, and uh, I'm really happy I got to meet her. And I uh, hope to uh, see her in the future. If you're remembering. Interpreters are on hand to ease the passage of true love. Art has missed the target and is going for one of the interpreters instead. 
I know. I was telling you when I flew from Baghdad into Dubai, and I stayed the night in Dubai. You know, in, in Baghdad, in Iraq, you you always hear these explosions. You always hear gunshots. And you always have to watch over your head to see if somebody shooting at you. I get to Dubai, get in the whole. You want to be careful if you go to Dubai, though. Why? Well, because there's a lot of bad people that will take Ukrainian women, Russian women, bring them down to Dubai and put them in for prostitution. So you want to be very careful. She, you're very shy, but you're very beautiful. A musical musician. How about music? Do you like music? What kind? All, all various kinds of music: uh, rap, hard rock, heavy metal. You like? Yeah. I love blue rap. Тяжелый металл Эминем ACDC Last summer I went and saw Motley Crue in concert as part of their reunion tour You was? No? You uh, sing? Yeah, I see Motley Crue in concert Он прошлым летом пел на каком-то рок-концерте А на каком инструменте он играет? Can you play some? Some guitar or something? No, I, I don't play about this song, you know it? Yeah, well, Hotel California. Yeah. Yes. You can sing it? Переводчик очень хороший, очень квалифицированный, очень быстро переводит. Мне нравится Даша переводчик. Впечатления хорошие, очень интересный мужчина, очень интересно о себе рассказывает. Я думаю, что в дальнейшем э, ну, у нас будет с ним какие-то связи или отношения, ну, что будем продолжать отношения с ним вместе. She just wasn't the type that I was looking for. A little bit of, above the age range that I was really comfortable with. Bottom line, I'm trying to find somebody that will actually just settle down and be my best friend. And we can go through the struggles in life and you know, and the happiness of your life. So that's, that's all I'm looking for. Мужчины любят выпить, любят встречаться со многими женщинами. Мне это не нравится. Многие мужчины, которые э, даже женаты, они встречаются с другими женщинами. Мне это не нравится. Многие мужчины пьют очень много. Мне это тоже не нравится. American women? Yeah. You, you got an hour? Two hours? Because now American women are fine, but uh, as of late, I've uh, I've grown not to uh, appreciate them because they don't appreciate American men. Uh, they take a lot of things for granted. Um, they're lazy. Uh, most of them, not all of them. Um, what really decided my fate to come to Ukraine and find another, another woman of a different culture and different society is that I've had eight good friends in college. They're all divorced with kids. And I've had a lot of high school buddies that are all divorced with kids. And that just set a spark in my head saying, you gotta go try something new and different. So that's why I came to Ukraine. She asked at the hotel at a swimming pool and I told her yes and she was wanting to go swimming, so. It was mostly it's up to what the girl wants to do and what type of activity she wants to do. Was it in the nude? <laughs> no, it wasn't in the nude. But we did go into the, the sauna and the, the Turkish bath. Well, he's doing the commando work. This guy, this guy's like special forces of the dating service. I mean, he's in and out. I mean, he's like. Those women don't stand a chance once once they meet once they meet Tony, it gets game over. I mean, they're they're putty in his hands once once he gets on once he's in his game and he's in the zone. He might as well sit back and watch the show because it's it over. He's that good. This guy's the man right here, man. He's the man. Now, I, you know what I'm amazed about is we're sitting here standing here talking. No girls tried to come up here and tried to pick up on him yet. That's what's amazing.
But, but oh, there's one item right now. So that's one thing with the the Russian women though. They want you to come up to them first. Mm -hmm. They're shy. <laughs> they're a little shy. They're nervous. You they're they're old fashioned and they believe that the man should come to them first. And so that's pretty much what you got to do is just see a girl go and go up and start talking to her. See, it doesn't matter. Good looks don't matter. What they're looking for is a nice, steady man. Um, very, very much chemistry uh, with me. I hope the same with her. I, I felt like I was a teenager. <laughs> My ex-wife said to me, you, you have a, a young body, but what you going to do about your uh, old face? And I said, uh, I can't fix everything. But I'd say, uh, she thought she would hurt me, but that was a compliment if she said my body looked good. So, uh, but that's not important. I, I tell a person, uh, you know, I like them. It doesn't matter what their age is. And uh, if they like me, fine. If they don't, okay. I'm looking for someone to make me feel younger. Do you have a phone number? Thomas has moved on from Julia and decided to grab a date with another woman. Thomas, да, он на день раньше встретился с одесской девушкой. Я думаю, что ее привилегия то, что у нее нету детей, это раз, а второе, она лучше знает язык. Вот она как-то с ним, та 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 вот как-то так, и он извинился передо мной и ушел с ней в ресторан. Ну, <laughs> мне опять не повезло, вот, вот так вот. Осадок на в душе остался, осадок большой. Вот. Это как, это как рынок, мы как товар. Вот, я не, как-то никто в душу не заглядывает. Вот в чем проблема. Мне никто не спрашивал, что я люблю, что я хочу, о чем мечтаю. Никто до сих пор не спрашивал. Вопросы такие общего характера. Сколько лет ты работаешь? Сколько лет дочери? Там. Что ты можешь готовить? Что любишь? Сейчас я выйду, доченька, сейчас. Вот такие как-то... Любите ли вы заниматься домашним хозяйством, ну именно там стирать, готовить, именно то, что для них важно. It's going well. Good group of men. Everybody's having a good time. Things are going very well. Эту зажигалку починил мне мой восьмилетний внук. Он занимается танцами, вокалом, но кроме этого у него золотые ручки, он умеет еще чинить. Вот. Зажигалка китайская, не совсем прочная, а он по-русски ее починил. Ага. Из чашечки желаю легкого похмелья. Это нашему гостю. Хоть это и не спиртное, но... Э, моим девочкам присылали письма мужчины, а я за них писала ответы. Но старшей дочери я написала ответ только на одно письмо. Показала ей, она заинтересовалась и нашла свою судьбу. А сейчас я пишу, переписывая за мою младшую дочь. Получаю письма, пишу ответы, а ей, изред... ей показываю свою переписку. Но судьбу пока она свою не нашла, хотя есть ребята неплохие, которые ей пишут. Back on the tour, the men are off to another social. This time in Kherson, a small provincial town about three hours drive inland. I said hello. There's an angel, contemplate my fate. And do they know the places where we go, when we grey and old? As I have been told, that salvation makes the wings unfold. So when I'm lying in my bed, thoughts running through my head, and I feel that love is dead, I'm loving angels instead. South Africa, Cape Town, my man. Is that what that is? I actually don't drink at home as a rule at all. 
I don't drink. But yeah, in Rome, do as the Romans do. Oh, I met a, I met a beautiful woman on Friday. She came back to my apartment. I, I, I have a fetish about feet, but she had small feet, and I really enjoyed this doll. I thought she took her shoes off, and one of her fucking toes was missing, my man. When you lie to that, the, sh the sheets are up, and the sheets are all down on the one side because the big toes missing. No problem. She stayed over, but there was no interaction because of that. God forgive me, I think he will. Um, I was married 25 years ago, right? 20, 24 years ago. And when I meet a woman, I tell her my family was killed three weeks ago in an accident. And they end up crying and touching me, and they end up, they're very close, and they're very, it's just a little, a little weird little thing that I use. And that's why, they want to know why I'm coming to the Ukraine. I tell them because it's a tragedy. I lost my family in, a, in, a, in, a tra in, a, in an accident. And they, they end up touching and crying and whatnot. And I put them into the big bed. They have no problem now. They pass, they, I put them into the big bed to pacify me. <laughs> now you go, put, you go put that on scene in whatever. It's the truth. In South Africa has become like America. The women are um, westernized. Um, I had a girlfriend in South Africa. I broke up with her. She went to see a lawyer to try and ride me for a car and a house and whatnot. She was your girlfriend? Yeah, she was my girlfriend, not even, uh, not even married to me. So, Ukrainian women are beautiful, they're elegant, it's just a different company. You find a woman here, yeah, you find a partner for life. The bus is late, and another army of women eagerly await their arrival. Я хочу познакомиться с красивым молодым человеком. Я просто хочу использовать каждый шанс, что мне дает эта жизнь. Правильно? Надо использовать все, что у вас есть. Every opportunity, yeah? Мужчины в Николаеве любят выпить. Пиво льется рекой в Николаеве. Мужчины любят выпить, подраться между собой. Когда женятся, иногда бьют свою жену. Поэтому женщины стараются найти себе ласкового и внимательного мужчины. Такого, как иностранные мужчины. Ну, я думаю, что она права, но все-таки не знаю. Может быть, если есть действительно хорошие люди в Николаеве, то это очень трудно найти свою судьбу там. Потому что она права, что очень много э, девушек. Если честно, то я еще просто слишком, наверное, молода, чтобы как-то оценить вообще эту ситуацию, которая складывается. Может быть, со стороны своей молодости. У тебя раньше было серьезное отношение? Нет. Я вам раздаю косыночки. One of the afternoon's highlights is a getting together competition. The aim is for the man to remove 14 strategically placed clothes pegs whilst blindfolded. Ah, it was funny. It was uh, nice. Yes, to uh, get all this. No, no, no. I don't think so. Not there, uh, no, anymore. With the music too loud for conversation, the girls dance while waiting to be chosen for a quiet chat outside.
мне, и мне вообще было очень неприятно. Когда я сижу, просто сижу ни на кого, да, не смотрю, проходит мужчина с бокалом пива и осматривает всех девушек, ну, встанет напротив столика и вот так вот обсматривает по периметру, да. Это очень неприятно и как бы... Это, мне кажется, что это даже недостаток воспитания может быть. Или просто из-за того, что они видят, что очень много красивых девушек, и это позволительно. На самом деле это не так. Это не позволительно. Это очень некрасиво. И мне кажется, что это даже большая часть, почему они сюда приехали. Не за женой, а секс-туризм элементарный. Потому что очень бедный город, они считают, что вот мы такие бедные, такие несчастные, и что согласимся на все. Но это не так. Мне очень обидно за наших девушек, просто. Потому что приезжают, я же уже говорю, не самые лучшие. И очень обидно, когда девушка умная, красивая, самостоятельная, и она просто не может здесь найти мужчину, и от безвыходности она идет вот на такие вот э, мероприятия. Э, конечно, есть процент удачи, что может быть она встретит своего мужчину, но это очень маленький процент. Well, naturally, you don't have the youthful look that a 25 or 30 year old would have, but, and maybe that bothers them. But uh, uh, after you go to bed, uh, it's not not important if you you know if you do a good job. And uh, <clears throat> I've had lots of uh, young women. And I've never had one after. After the effect, say that uh, age was that age was a problem at all. I had one Ukrainian woman tell me that she loved me. She was 23, but she loved uh, my sex organ. Oh, let's see how did she put it. She said, "Oh, I love, <laughs> I love you, but I love your sex organ twice as much." <laughs> so. Back from Kherson with no more socials left, time is running out. The men revisit the catalogues, while art sticks with the interpreters. They're, I like I like those ladies. They're really neat. Yes, I also noticed that they are kind of different. They are more, I don't know, open, sincere. In croissant, I noticed yeah. that. They yeah. seem, in croissant, they seem like they, they have better hearts. You know, they're, they're really, they're really looking for somebody. They're, they're really, uh, yes, yes. I also noticed this. Mm -hmm. The ladies and ideas that they are... There's somebody in this world for everybody. There's somebody in this world for everybody, and I, I can't even say that enough. It's, it's just a matter of meeting enough people that you find that someone. And it's a chemistry. I, I don't think it's all about just looks. It's not all about just personality. It's an overall chemistry. And you never know where it's going to happen or when it's going to happen. I haven't been following Tony because, you know, he's too busy following the girls and the girls following him. <laughs> When she combs that hair, hair back, man, it's, it's, it's like the fawns on the motorcycle. <laughs> girls, you just snap those fingers and girls come from left and right, and boom, he's got it. I mean, he's, he's that good, you know. Guy's a love machine. So you ready to come to America? <laughs> <laughs> My friends say me, trying this way. <laughs> I'm trying and have Tony. <laughs> And I had the... Well, I had saw her throughout the entire social, but there was always guys over there with her. And towards the end, I saw her sitting there looking kind of unhappy. So I went over to over there to try to cheer her up. And we hit it off right from then, and the rest is pretty much history. Надежда умирает последний. Я думаю, что я еще молода, у меня еще все впереди, что еще есть время. Думаю, может быть, просто Бог готовит для меня человека. Просто не настала, не настала, не пришла моя весна еще. Может быть, вот так вот. Вот это я себя так успокаиваю. Since their first meeting, 
Thomas has rethought his feelings for Julia. I thought Julia was probably the finest lady I met at any of the socials. I can't stop thinking about her. Um, it threw me off because she had a five-year-old daughter. I wasn't ready to consider that, but I haven't been able to stop thinking about her since. It took a couple of days to swallow that, but uh, yeah. <laughs> she has a really sweet, genuine disposition. She's beautiful, but I mean, she, her disposition is one of the sweetest I've ever come across anywhere. Genuine, nice lady. But has he left it too late? Thomas isn't the only one interested. Julia, I really like a lot. She seems like she's a very uh, high quality woman and she's physically beautiful. I like uh, the quality of the woman, just her heart, her, her genuineness. Uh, she's honest, she's sincere in her look for a decent man. Uh, those are rare qualities to, to find. I would uh, like to pursue uh, that and we'll see what happens. Когда я развелась, у меня был такой комплекс, что я вообще никому не нужна. Вот именно, именно соушилы и переписка мне повысили самооценку мою. Я начала подкрашиваться, ухаживать за собой, одеваться лучше, вот то, что там подчеркивает фигуру, веселее стала, вот интересней. Ну, что, когда у женщины повышается самооценка, она более уверена. Мужчины писали мне, что вот, я красивая, это очень приятно. Мне в жизни никто так не говорил. You guys find about well, obviously. You introduced me to a woman last night. And now this guy's all over her. I mean, come on. Sorry, man. I'm not happy. Yeah.